Good morning, everyone. This is Candace at Skin Serenity Spa. It is, what's today? Today is Friday? Friday. Today's Friday. And um, I went to the dermatologist yesterday, which I go every six months since my mother passed. And those of you that know uh, Gloria, that knew Gloria, you know that she started off with a small spot on her arm. And what happened with her in the matter of weeks is that that spot took over her entire arm, ended up um, looked like this huge malignant, and it was um, mass. And um, anyway, with that being said, so I go to the dermatologist. As you know, I take care of my skin really well. I do peels on a regular basis. I do dermaplane. Um, I haven't done microneedling in a while, and that has to do with my schedule. But um, I use retinol every night. I use 20% C. I use 5% E. I use hydroquinone every three months, and then three months on, three months off. Um, so anyway, I really take good care of my skin. I use sunscreen all the time. I I have sunscreen on now, of course. So I've and I do IPL, which is intense pulse laser. And so intense pulse laser is basically for me. What I love about it is it is a, it's an alternative to a facelift. It's an alternative to uh, a deep laser. It's, it's not a deep, deep laser where your face is falling off. It's just superficial enough, but deep enough that it's going to do the trick. It really, it's unbelievable for telangiectasia, which is the broken capillaries, which is the real reason why I do it. It's great for hyperpigmentation, sun damage. It does wonders on the neck and decollete, face. It's just a great, great treatment. So with that being said, um, I've had this spot on my cheek that has been troublesome and it's grown. And so yesterday, uh, six months ago, he wanted to work on it with Effidex, and I did Effidex, and that medication is severe. It makes you look like chopped hamburger, basically. I've done it on my chest before, and it literally turns to chopped hamburger. Well, it did nothing for it. Um, didn't flake, didn't, didn't do anything. And I spot treated just like he told me to, and it didn't do anything, so I was pretty surprised. Um, so when I went in yesterday, and it grew a little bit, and um, he said, wow, it's still there. And I said, yeah, it didn't do anything. He said, like, nothing? And I said, nothing. There was no reaction. There was no reactivity to it at all. So he, he took his tool and he looked at, and into it pretty deeply. And um, he stood back and he looked at me. He said, you know, he said, this is more than just um, a bunch of vessels. He said, there's, there's something more going on here. So I went, you know course you know your first thought is like crap it's on your face you know it's like right, right in the middle of my cheek so I said I know what that means you know I knew we had to do a scrape and um, so they numbed it and he said well I'm gonna try not to go that deep on it because those of you that have had you know a scrape you know they come with the, the, the blade and they have to do the biopsy and the deeper they go the more severe the quote unquote scar left behind is going to be. So he said, I'm gonna try and go as shallow as possible, but I still need to be able to get what I need to get. And I was like, I know I get it. So I left there with this, you know, big bandage thing and I'm like thinking to myself, well this sucks, you know, all this work I do. And that's you know, I'm now I'm not an esthetician anymore and a spa owner. Now I'm on the receiving end of it. And of course I'm fair skinned and, but it's my driver's side. So when you guys come in here, when, when, or, you know, you, you say, oh, I don't go out in the sun anymore. Or, you know, you, I, I try to really instill in everyone that the stuff that we see after we've been working on ourselves for so long. So, you know, I've been working on my skin religiously for it, it, oh, almost not going into nine years, then this has nothing to do with what I did over the nine years. This has to do with what I did 
pre-nine years. And this is just something that was underlying that is just coming forward and it's, it's rearing its ugly head and it's letting me know, hello, it's something that needs some attention. I've had it for a while, but me in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, I can work on it and I have been able to work on it. I did get it better, but I have not removed it. So the driver's side is really important to pay attention to the whole thing is, but more so the driver's side because you don't realize it, you know, especially you, you taxi moms, you drive a lot and you don't realize how much, like, oh, I'm just gonna throw the kids in and drive them to school, I don't need to put sunscreen on. Oh, I'm just running to the grocery store, I don't need to put sunscreen on. You do, you really do, because now with this, I'm not gonna know for, he said maybe a week and a half, it could be closer to two weeks, we're not sure, um, but, so for instance, even with what it looks like now, I'm gonna have to have plastic surgery on it. With That's a given with what it looks like right now. I cannot fix this because of the size of it and the depth of it. There's just no way, it's too big. Um, this needs to have plastic surgery attention. Even if it does, even if it comes back negative. If it comes back positive, I will, it will be a much more severe plastic surgery. So either way, now I'm in a plastic surgery situation and it's not a fun one, ladies. It's not one to give me a nice lift. It's one that is just to repair something in the middle of my cheek. So I just wanted to talk to you this morning about something that is crucial. I mean, you know, we, we laugh a lot here. We have a lot of fun here. And you know, we talk about ripping your face off and you know, and, and it's true and because and, and, we do take this very seriously and I do try to have as much fun with you as possible. But, you know, when I look at the pictures of my mother's arm and then, you know, have uh, this happen, and I remember seeing my mother with this, this on her lip, it just, you know, it just, it's just a reality check. So please make sure that, um, please make sure that you put sunscreen on. That's all I ask. Just put sunscreen on. Thank you. Have a good day.